Hello everyone, this is Christine and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this video from kind of a high angle here because I want you to get the full picture of this Donner Digital Piano and this is the DDP 300 model. Today we're going to be taking a close look at the portability, the look, the sound, the features, and the target audience of this digital piano. And of course, if you're looking to purchase this digital piano yourself, you can find my Amazon affiliate link down in the description. Now, first criteria here is the portability. And hopefully it's pretty obvious to you that this is not meant to be a portable piano. I did film a video of myself unboxing and assembling this piano and I did it by myself and I struggled. This top part of the piano is a single piece and it is quite heavy and I would recommend if you're going to get it that you have two people to assemble it and that you really find a home for it in one place in your house. Now when it comes to the look of this digital piano, I think you'll find it extremely aesthetically pleasing, especially when you compare it to something like what's behind me, which I think most people would keep in their music room or practice room. This is something I would say would look nice out in the living area of your home. Now it is made out of particle board with a vinyl coating, so if you're hard on your things or you have a lot of kids who might be running around trying to write on things, it may get scratched up, but what I found with pieces of furniture like this is a simple brown magic marker can often cover up those small little blemishes. And for the price, it's really about what I would expect. The music stand also folds down and it has this lovely cover to keep your keys clean. Now the most important feature of any keyboard or piano is going to be the sound, and the Donner DDP 300 digital piano does not disappoint. With its fully weighted keys and the two speakers beneath the piano, it sounds much more similar to a grand piano than what you're gonna hear from most digital keyboards. Let's take a listen. As everyone knows, I'm not a professional pianist, but that gives you a little bit of an idea of what this digital piano sounds like. Next up, let's talk a little bit about some of the features of this piano. I'm not going to get into every feature. There's a lot to this piano, and I will put part of the guide up on the screen so you can see all the different functions. But a couple of things that struck me are, first of all, you can turn this into two separate keyboards simply by hitting function and the second key here. On. You can see she says on, and that is now, the keyboard is now split here into two of the exact same keyboards so that if you have a teacher and a student, you can sit next to each other and play along together. There are also multiple instruments that you can imitate with this piano, like a lot of digital keyboards, uh, strings, organ, bass, etc. There's also the standard metronome on here. There's five different song demos you can play. You can also record and store one song of your own on this piano. You can use the reverb setting, transpose the overall pitch of the piano, and there are MIDI and Bluetooth features so that you can connect it to your devices if you're going to use different piano learning or music making apps. All right, and finally is the target audience for this piano. I would say that this piano is geared towards people who want the look and feel of a real piano, but also want the features of a digital keyboard, like the MIDI settings and Bluetooth functions. The price point is also quite reasonable for the number of features that this has and the fully weighted keys and aesthetic look to this piano. I'm excited to get to use this for a lot more of my videos coming out in the future. And in the interest of full disclosure, this piano was sent to me free from Donner and they had asked me to do this review. So I hope that you've enjoyed it and you've gained some new insight into the Donner DDP 300 digital piano. Again, if you're interested in purchasing it, I do have an affiliate link down in the description below, but you can also find it searching on Amazon. Thanks for joining me and we will see you guys next time. Bye.